The Stopgap Dance Company employ both disabled and non-disabled artists who find innovative ways to collaborate, which in turn enables them to create unique performances that not only entertain, but also challenge perceptions of what dance should be. The company are busy rehearsing at the point in Eastleigh ahead of their UK tour of their new show, and I went to meet them. For thousands of years, dance has been used as a means of celebration and expression, and rehearsing in Eastleigh are one dance company that includes dancers who are differently abled to create unique performances. We're Stockgap Dance Company. We're based in Surrey and we tour all around the UK and the world. We're an inclusive dance company, so that means we work with disabled and non-disabled dancers, and together we make uh, imaginative dance theatre performances that uh, inspire and excite Everyone. We're practicing at The Point in Eastleigh, one of our great supporters. We work with disabled dancers and we use a lot of their movement as non-disabled dancers to create a, what we call integrated dance, kind of movement that is unusual and inventive and, as you say, gives us opportunities to be quite creative with our dance movement. You say you're a dancer and people will either think exactly what's behind us, ballet dancer, or nowadays, strictly, it's all ballroom dancing. Uh, and you have to explain that what we do is more contemporary and slightly more abstract than what you used to. To a certain extent, I, I, the body's not as important because we all have the same emotions, so we all, you know, we all express in the same way. If you're sad, you're expressing. So if you're happy, you, you, you know, you're more extrovert or whatever. So I don't think it, it's about the body per se, but it's how you represent because sometimes it's, it's difficult with, with dance in particular. If it's too abstract, it shuts people off and they can, they can look at it and go, that's really pretty, but they don't, they don't connect to it, so they don't really take a lot away from it. The collaboration with both physical disabilities and learning difficulties mean that the company are able to create some innovative movements that you may not see elsewhere. If you come to watch us, you'll see stuff that you wouldn't see in usual dance, the stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. So you'll see something you've never seen before because we're working with something very new. We're working with disabled dancers and they've all trained with us. They're all professional. Um, we work together for a long time, so we really trust each other. So there's a lot of inventive lift work, actually, which you probably wouldn't expect to see from disabled and non-disabled dancers working together. What other people would call problems, we see them as opportunities. We have um, Hannah and Chris, who are both learning disabilities. So sometimes it takes longer for them to, to learn things or pick up on things. But it, they also move in a different way to us. They're, way, they're really flexible, and when they create things, we have to copy them or translate them. The current show explores the theme of loss and uses techniques familiar with physical theatre. Well, we're working with a set, so you'll get to see lots of dancers climbing up and around and through a set. We usually work with a narrative. This piece, The Enormous Room, is um, based around the relationship between a father and a daughter and uh, how they deal with the loss of their mother and wife and how they find resolution together. So there's, there's sadness, but there's also some laughter and some fun as well as finding resolution and talking about families. And then we go into the second part of the show where the whole set is strict, so it's just an open space. And then it becomes a little bit more abstract and it focuses more on Sam and her, how she deals with moving on from losing her mum. You know, even if people don't understand the whole concept, if they take one little thing away, that's what we aim for. We're performing at The Point in Eastleigh on the 8th of February. Oh, and you can check our website for all those de details. We have a Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram and get to know us. Richard Stringer, That's TV.